Well, we've been given an interesting part of a mission. Yeah, mine three million Tritanium. And that is just for Ops 34 and above. Ops 50 and above, they have five million. Plus this. Yeah. Let's have a little discussion about this one, shall we? I'm Admiral Pegasus, and this is Star Trek Fleet Command. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, as you can see, I don't have any miners out doing titanium because I've actually decided to stop. Yes. Now, there is a reason why I've decided to stop and we'll get onto that in just a moment. But a mission that that's pretty much all the way through been asking you to mine various bits of materials, uh, G2 um, materials. I think, actually no, some G3 as well. I've had to do some G2 gas, some G3 ore, G3 crystal. So we, we've had a, a fair whack. And that was part of this 11 part mission called Requital. Now, mining 3 million titanium is no easy feat at Ops 34. Because potentially you might not have done all the research. You might not have done everything that's needed so what are you gonna do well get on with it really or not yes or not now that's the biggie should you really be doing this well if you want to complete the mission yes you've got to do it but is it going to be worth it I mean there's the rewards over there 600 g3 interceptor parts ideal for your D4. Um, so, yeah. Some um, G3 crystal. Raw. Oh, hmm. Okay. That's a single chest pull. In your refinery. Once. Okay. And some ship XP. Well, ship XP is always a welcome addition. So, here you go. Here's screenshots of me doing some mining. As you can see, I've got five ships out. They're all mining. And the one thing is, when I first heard about this, I literally went to a high level system in the warp 20 range where I could find the 1 million nodes. Now, granted, Ops 34 through 38, you don't stand a cat and chance of getting this. Once you get to Ops 38, um, in fact, op, mm, yeah, actually, yeah, Ops 38, and you've got your Devore Fisher available. You will be able to rush all the way. You'll be able to go and find this particular system. Yep, it's all the way up here. It is in the Warp 20 range. And it's this particular one here. As you can see by the symbol on it, it's titanium. Obviously, I can't reach it at current. Because, well, the jellyfish can't reach it. So, I went in there and I started mining nodes. And then, in the um, CC's discussion, when we mentioned this... Um, DJ actually said, well, you've got Exos. I had approximately, between five ships, roughly 1.5 million. And I'd been mining a hell of a long time. A hell of a long time. About four or five hours. Yeah. Four or five hours mining, and DJ mentioned that. So what did Dipsy do? Yeah. I pulled my miners off the nodes and back to my base to activate the exocoms. 1.5 million. Yeah. And I hadn't even reached level uh, part 9. I hadn't reached the mission bit to mine it yet. Whoops. So anyway, I put them back out there and obviously mined and what you saw what you saw in the beginning and I'll sh show you again. Is I've got literally just over, just under 1.1 million. So I've still got a long way to go. Now, this mission is actually part of your event for completing missions. Yes, 
It is Tour of Duty and obviously complete core missions and if I get myself out of the way, it is actually the core missions. So yes, if you want to earn those 50 points, you do have to do this. You do have to do it. But to be perfectly fair, right? Sorry, skipping some adverts. Is it really worth it? I mean, really, is that worth it? 400 event store currency. An avatar. Well, if you like avatars, then yeah, you might want to go for it. But is there actually any value in it? Well, maybe. I don't know. Me, I, yeah, I, I can't even come up with a logical reason if that is actually worth it. Now, obviously, we are going to take that to the, when we actually get all this, we're going to take it up to the event store, which we currently have a dabber wheel running. Now, just to put out there, there is going to be nothing extra added. So don't expect anything else. What you get here is what you're getting this month. So as you can see, you've got your material resources, you've got your um, away teams um, stuff, and you've got some territory stuff. Now, that's it. That's all you're going to be getting. But as you notice, it's all limited to 50. Now, my opinion on the Dabber Wheel, one, there's not enough choice. Two, I don't think the rewards really pay enough. Now, I have been told how these are worked, and if I'm honest, I can't quite remember how. I think they said it was something to do with your ops level, with how much you're getting in here. So, yeah, I'll need to um, get that verified, and I'll put I'll put the actual thing on screen. But if we actually look at the what we're getting, Dilithium, it doesn't look particularly too bad. I mean, you're looking at, what's that, um, 25 million tokens, 25 million raw, yeah. And the materials themselves, again, are not very, don't seem very high. They don't seem very high. And then obviously you've got officers. Now, luckily, with the materials and the resources, they are all guaranteed. So you are going to get a payout when you go for these chests. But this line is all RNG. What officer are you going to get? You don't know. Even if you actually get an officer. Now, bearing in mind that the officers are not primarily mostly sourced in, in a month. Especially the epics, right? But your main officer this month is going to be Dozak because he's going to activate that new ability. <coughs> but what the RNG is in this box, for these particular officers... I don't know because there's no information button. But the upside is the chest swords scale nicely. They actually scale as they should. 1, 2, 3, 100, 200, 300. So I, I've heard of people pulling multiple chests and not getting a single officer. That, that kind of worries me a little bit about sourcing for these officers. Is it going to be right is it going to be enough this month are you actually going to be able to unlock an officer well yeah you got some in the battle pass so there is a chance you can still pull them the chances are the one that you might be able to pull the most off is gosa that's probably the one i think now as you can see i've got 2000 in this event store currency already so basically i can pull 20 chests already i'm not pulling until the end of the month because i want to do this in one big run but Am I actually going to be participating in a lot of events this month? Well, no, I'm not. Because it's it's brilliant. We've got a player's choice. It is absolutely brilliant. They've given us a choice, but it's not enough. It's not enough. I need ore, titanium, and gas, and dilithium. So... That's for my auger. No, no, the auger needs crystal. So the steel here 
is not actually worth it. For the auger, I don't need gas with that dilithium. But now if I flip it around with the Enterprise, the one I don't need is steel out of here, crystal, with that, with the next one. I need ore, tritanium, and the last box is absolutely fine. Now, obviously, these are pretty much how they're paid out in, in the events. They're paid out in this particular fashion. This is the way it's always been. When they started the game, this is the way that they came. When they introduced the double wheel last, last year, this is how they turned out. So it's good on one hand, but on the other hand, well, what happens if I want some ore and I want some titanium? If that's all I need to upgrade a ship but yet I've got to get steel and I've got to get crystal which I don't actually need so now I do understand I will I will say I do understand giving you too many options makes the makes the decision more complicated what do you spend your currency on and all that so they're sort of helping you in a way they are actually helping you in a way I can't I, I won't deny that but again if I'm going to be given a choice, and this is my opinion, my opinion, it's no ba nowhere based in fact. If I want to make a decision on what choices I want, let's take this. I just want the trade XP out there. I don't want the assign uh, speed ups. I'm quite happy to let the away team missions run out, run the timers out. Now they're a bonus, yes. Because if I need to get an officer back fast, then that changes the whole scenario, doesn't it? But in the active scenario, I only need to trade XP out of here. So maybe I could say I want a, a, a chest with trade XP and um, a boatload of titanium. Why can't I have that kind of an option? I think ideally what we need... I think... Uh, it, it's a dabber wheel, isn't it? It's a dabber. It's, 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 it's entirely up to you what you go for. But yeah. I, me, I'm not happy with this. Yes, it's a player's choice. It's a great idea and everything. But I'm not happy with just these limited options. Maybe maybe I'm too picky. Maybe I'm just an awkward sod. The answer is yes. I am. I am picky. I am an awkward sod. But I would like a little bit more choice. Now, I don't know what you think. Obviously, drop it in the comment section down below. <clears throat> but if we go back to the mission, mining 3 million tritanium, should you do it? Well, yes, if you, like I said earlier in the video, yes, if you want to complete the mission, go ahead, complete it. But do you need to complete it in one go? No, you don't. Don't. Right. When I actually did all those mines, I had one ship running around doing the mission, and that was my Valdor. It was the only ship that could reach the 120 systems. And, well, actually get out of the 120 systems back down to where all the stuff was actually happening. But then I had to put my Orga on nodes. Uh, not my Orga, sorry, my Valdor. My Valdor. I had to put that on mining nodes to mine the materials. So then I had to come out of game for a couple of hours, for an hour or two while it mined. But I was not getting anything else done. I had spent a solid two and a half hours after event change catching up on my jellyfish ball. I let, let, Let's just... So I had to catch up on... I haven't done the, that one yet. The tally-ho. That's solo matters. That's what I'm doing this morning. Away teams was pretty easy. But assimilate the pro annihilate the probes. Plunders of war. I needed to get them done. I needed to get my combat dailies done. I needed to get the jellyfish ball done. But did I re do I really need to do all that? No, I don't. We get we're, we're given an option here on what to on what we want to do. And it's the completionist side of people, like myself, like some of you, who want to make sure that you complete everything, you do everything. I do have the time to actually get these done. I do have the time in 24 hours to get them done. It's 
ba it's balancing your time correctly. Now, if you work solidly during the day, for instance, here in the UK, your work day is nine to five. Well, that's pretty much most of the event. That's a good one third of your event time. And then you sleep for the other third. So you've literally got from 5 p.m. in an evening till whatever time you go to bed. So if we say an average of going to bed around 10, 11 o'clock at night, that gives you five to six hours to get as much done as you possibly can. Now, can you do it in six hours? Yes, but you need to eat. What happens if you've got kids? Well, you need to put them to bed. You need to feed them. You need to put them to bed. You need to get them washed, teeth brushed, things like that. Any medications that they need, that takes time out of game. So you can quickly find that six hours you've got available quickly d dwindles down to, say, about three hours. But why why do we complete these? Why, why do we feel the need that we need to complete these? I can't remember the name of the person who coined this um, motion. FOMO. Yes, FOMO. Fear of missing out. Okay. Now, what are you missing out in this? Event store currency. I can tell you now, and I'm sure it's still here. Um, yep. Nope, I managed to complete that one. That, that was relatively easy to do with six ships. I didn't do the PvP one. I didn't get it completed. So how much currency have I missed out there? Well, let's add it up. 370. Three chests I've missed out on. Now, is that going to be a lot for me? Well, it potentially could be a, a, a little bit amount. That's roughly what? 2,400 trade XP I'm now not going to have. That could be around 600 G4 Uncommon. I'm missing out on. It happens. And I just didn't get time to do this because of me flapping around in my head. Three million titanium. Three million titanium. And trying to figure out how I was going to do it. Until I actually sat down with myself. And shout out to Rev Juice here as well. Because he makes the point. Why? Why compromise your game through other stuff in the game for mining 3 million titanium? Now, if I'd not been worried about that titanium, I could have completed this event. I could have completed it. I mean, what is wrong with me putting a miner on a titanium node overnight to mine while I'm asleep? I mean... Where, where is it? There it is. You've got 18... I've got 18 days to finish that mission. I'll get the side missions in. I won't get the level 50 one in. But I'll get, this, I'll get the history class and the collective of one in. They, they, that's not a problem. There are only five parters. I'll send a ship out while I'm doing other stuff. But I can mine the titanium overnight. Now, will I get it in 18 days? Well, there's a, there's a chance... I might have to double up or triple up overnight at some point. But I will get it done eventually. So there's no rush in actually getting it done. So if you want to get it done, yes. But you've got plenty of time to get it done. Is it a priority? Not really. Because even if you don't get it done during the event, during this act, if you don't get it done, it's still, as long as you've opened it, as long as you've accessed it, it's still going to be there for you to do after the arc. You can do it during the mid arc interval if you wanted. Yes, you're missing out on four chests and an avatar. Wow. But anyway, it's your choice. Now, if you do want to do it, I will actually tell you some. I will actually give you some crew ideas if you want to do it. Now, you can just put anybody on a ship, send it out. Jobs are good. In. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my envoy on there is the envoy now my envoy is maxed out and it is a titanium miner okay no questions about it now i've got two particular formations 
I can potentially use. So I'm going to pick Stomp for now because what I can do is I can use this as an easy mission, easy way. But that's the officer you want. And I'm going to put him there in the captain seat because he's the Tritanium Miner. He's going to boost your mining speed. Now, it's 40%. Now, if you, put, if you group him up, I don't know why I went on to group again. Just group him up, full synergy. Now he's boosted it by 100%. So he's taking the, mi the mining laser, which is already at level 35, not tier 7, level 35, is a 150% boost to mining speed. And his mining bonus already is 745%. So add all that together, along with um, Bish, and... You're going to mine titanium. Now, obviously, the cargo holds not very big. As you can see, it's only 378. So you could technically augment it with a um, cargo enhancing officer. But the problem is, Ston is the same as Bish. So it's going to drop it to 90%. So you're getting a boost in your cargo, but slightly slower rate. Now, to be honest, 10% is not an awful lot. There's not an awful lot in it, to be perfectly honest with you. But then, again, I've boosted my cargo by nearly 100k. So, I can find a decent node, shove it on there for the night and let it mine. But it's still going to take hours and hours. Now, there is another set you could actually use. And surprisingly, it is your Borg crew. And typical. He has to be on another ship. So, there we go. And we'll do full synergy again. And there you go. 200. And he mines resources. So this is already a massive boost. It's a bigger boost than actually using Bish. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on a node. Now, as you can see there, using a maxed out envoy, using the Borg mining crew, so to speak. Just under 35,000 per hour on this node. Now, bear in mind that this is in my territory. There is an extra mining boost. So, you'll need to obviously bear that in mind when you do look at your offices. Now, let's go back to um, Kabish. Um, so, let's find Stan again. And then, let's group it up. So, on oh, Kabish... I'm going to put Stom below deck because we're, we're going to show you the difference on the mining rate as, with that one as well. So, there we go. Looks like we've got a takeover just started. There you go. You've lost 7,000 per hour. Well, actually nearly eight, nearly 8,000 per hour. And that is going full synergy. Full synergy. Now, let's, let's increase the cargo. <coughs> Now, I can't show you with um, 3 of 11 because he's currently out in G4 space at the minute mining. So, we've lost that we've, we've lost that extra 10%. Well, we've lost about f nearly 400. We've lost nearly 400 per hour. Now, that, that, that could be a significant difference. That might not be. But as well, bear in mind, mm -hmm. I'm Ops 42. And... I've got other stuff as well. If we go in here, go into the galaxy tree, Tritanium Miner. Again, another boost. 200% boost added on top. So it's going to take the base level of your envoy and add 200%. So it's going to it's going to triple it. And then add it on top. Well it's going to it's going to double it and then add it on top. So I've got that. There's other my um, other mining thing um, researches dotted around. I can't remember them all. I'd have to look find them. But there's there things there that's going to boost how fast you can mine that titanium. But again, it all goes on your ops level because trust me, that one was ops locked as well when you get to the higher levels. So. A level 34 player might not be able to max out that Tritanium Miner. I don't know. Because I, I didn't actually max it out till I was Ops 42. So, I don't know. 
but most research is usually ops locked and, and requires various oh requires various other stuff so that's it now as well we can also show you another ship if we can actually get the there we go so what we're going to do is I'm going to change over to a maxed out horizon. Okay, this is a tier nine horizon. 47,000. Bear in mind, that's not full synergy. So again, let's go full synergy. Forty-eight thousand. Ooh, now we're getting faster. Oh my lordy! I wish I wouldn't. The downside of mining in G4, you can't just move your base. So if you hit the wrong button, you you monkeyed. So Borg Group. So full synergy again. Sixty-five and a half thousand. So your horizon's gonna mine far better than you envoy. But like I said again, this is in my territory. I've got access to a, a, a mining boost because you can mine faster in your own territory. So the options are there for you if you if you really, really want to do it. But it's, it's down to you. My personal opinion is do not worry about it. Focus on your gameplay. Do the mining overnight. 27 minutes to mine that node. I'll go find a bigger node. I'll summon it out there with the discovery and I'll leave it mining overnight. I forgot to do it last night, but I'll leave it mining overnight. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down, down below. So I'll give you some clues on how you, um, the best way to do it. You might not have all of them available. If anything, you should definitely have Bish and Full Synergy. You should definitely have that. Uh, Ops 34, if he's not maxed by now, I kind of wondering why not. But then again, it depends on how you do your game. It's entirely up to you. Now, as well, I will just say that um, my opinion on the Dabo wheel, on the doing the mission, is my opinion. It's nobody else's. If you have the same op opinion, please share it in the comment section down below. If you have a different opinion, please share it in the comment section down below. If you've already done it, show us what an overachiever you are. <laughs> Drop it in the comment section down below. But anyway, I need to get off and get stuff done. So, as usual... I'm Admiral Pegasus, saying stay safe and live long and prosper. Goodbye.